Step aside, series one. There's a new blind bag in town, and this one is definitely not going to disappoint. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. This has been a video I've long overdue making, a full opening of Halo Infinite Series 2 blind bags. A really excellent looking set, and we're gonna tear each of these open today and celebrate Halo Infinite. I mean, what am I talking about? How could you celebrate Halo Infinite? I mean, <laughs> we might have three or four blind bag series before we even get our hands on the game, but it's only gonna build up hype more and more, and there's some brand new armors in here as well, which is also excellent and they perfectly mirror series one, like they definitely look like they're the exact same series, except we've replaced the yellow background with an actual battlescape, which is much nicer. So without further ado, let's get the first one open, shall we boys? There we go, I know what this one is. It's the grunt. You've always got to have a grunt in your blind bag series. I mean, obviously it's cheap for Mega Constructs to make. It's just a nice small figure and there's barely any detail or work that goes into it. There's no need for new molds or anything. We've just got a grunt. Again, these grunts don't really seem to hold the needle very well, which is a very funny thing. Let's look at the series one grunt. I mean, it was a much more interesting new assault grunt. This is the very basic grunt conscript, but I ain't complaining. And it wouldn't be a grunt without giving him a name. He's got to go down in the grunt lore. This one is Tony the Grunt. Little Tony. <laughs> Little Tony. He's got a green base plate and he's looking pretty excellent there. Let's have a quick look at the instruction manual before we get on to the next figure. Alright, we've got a cool little scape here. They don't have them fighting anymore. I missed the blind bag series where they were all fighting UNSC versus Covenant. I guess it's now banished, but they were always so cool in their displays. These are a little bit more simple. We've just got the renders of each of them sort of walking dramatically. Nothing wrong with that. I just really enjoy the fighting. The common figures, we've got all of these including, which is really weird, the AC Trailblazer is a common figure. And then the rares are the Elite and the Jackal, with the Ultra Rare being the Phantom. I get the Ultra Rare being the Phantom, but it's very strange having an AC figure that's like a, just a common figure. And I've said it before, I said it with the Series 1 blind bags. It's a little peculiar to have an AC figure and also the micro build vehicle, because then you're only left with six figures per series that aren't AC or vehicles. And whoa, this seems Seems like a lot of pieces. What have we got? Three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa, where you going? The green Spartan CQC. Mega Construct seems to have a thing for CQCs at the minute. I think they're probably just listening to the community. I know that the Halo Hero Spartan CQC was a really popular figure, so Mega Constructs must just be pushing for that. I've always loved the CQC having this weird, like, extended chin. And I've just noticed here a very interesting thing. There are two different colored shoulders. Usually, like, we, we have uh, different shoulder pieces, like different molds on each shoulder quite often, but we don't usually have two different colors as well as two different molds. So that's a really awesome feature. I must say that when I saw this series coming out or revealed, I was kind of underwhelmed just because it had been a really short time since series one. So I didn't have enough time to soak in series one or even get series one before series two was announced. And this CQC has actually surprised me. Wow. You know how the green figure in a series can always just sort of get lost in the mix. You don't pay attention to it. But this one, well, it did just that. And I didn't notice that it had so many nice details. I love the second part of the limbs being this light gray and how it also perfectly matches with one of the shoulders. That's actually a really cool feature. Take the two different colored limbs and match one with each shoulder and it comes with the new Mangler pistol, this weird brute weapon that has like a little spinning dial which is a nice feature. Yeah CQC you took me by surprise. You're a really nice figure. Let's get on to number three. Will number three take me by surprise? Take me by surprise figure. Whoa. Hey it's an AC. The AC Spartan Trailblazer, I believe. There's a lot of armors that are sort of coming out in toys now. You can't really blame Halo. I mean, they really do have to delay the game, make it, uh, you know, polished and actually playable. <laughs> but we've got the Spartan Trailblazer here. He's also come out in Halo Heroes Series 13, which I haven't got my hands on yet. I believe it's on the way. Oh, I've got to make sure. Wow. That's really, he's really not playing ball here. That's a really tight mold. This figure is not playing nice. Arr, my thumbs. Spartan Trailblazer. 
crazy. You have disappointed me. He, uh, he was happy in his bag. He didn't want to come out today. He was having a nice nap. I suddenly, like, rip him out of his bag. I'm also looking forward to getting the Trailblazer in this new helmet. I've got all three of the helmet videos coming out next week at the very start of the week. He's got an AC base plate and the Bulldog shotgun. <laughs> Trailblazer, you are a little bit of a pain to build, but it's worth it in the end. You look pretty epic now. That's figure number three. Let's get on with the show. Three, two, one. Hey, there we go. Ain't too shabby. So the assault rifle comes in this little bag because it has the scope that you have to attach on yourself. Slide that on. It's got a bit of a casting mold issue there, but nothing major. Let's see if this Spartan gives me a hard time as well. Maybe this one was excited to get out of the bag to show his new armor off. I opened this one and the Spartan Anubis in uh, just, just on my own because I couldn't wait. I just had uh, duplicates of them. The arms are a different color halfway down, so that's really nice. And yes, I'd open this one already, so I know that it's like surprisingly quite a dark blue. I thought this would be way, way lighter. Hey, there we go. That slid on nicely. He looks a little bit bare without his armor. But you look on the packaging, I think he looks quite a bit lighter, maybe? Maybe not. I expected something a little brighter. I'm not disappointed. I, I don't mind at all, actually, having like a slightly darker blue. Do you remember, guys, that old pack, that like Spartan anniversary pack that just came with so many old articulation Spartans? It was amazing in that pack. And also, same as the Series 1 blind bags, they come with different colored base plates. This banished grunt has a green, these have desert, and obviously the AC has an AC. I really love this silver sort of drum here. This is like a, a George and Noble 6 hybrid. That's four figures, we are halfway there. Figure number five, what have we got? Three, two, one, doosh. It's the Spartan Anubis. Another Spartan that I cannot wait to get my hands on in Halo Infinite. It's crazy that we're doing this the other way around, you know? Like, usually we'd have, like, in-game Spartans, and then eventually Mega Constructs, after, like, enough cry from the community, would make the Spartan. But this is the other way around. We're getting all these Spartans. I'm gonna get used to them on my display shelf, and then eventually I'm gonna play with them in Halo Infinite. It's just funny to do it the other way around, if you know what I mean. This guy has the same shoulders, which is no problem. Problem, and he is an absolute powerhouse. The same as the uh, the Spartan Mark 5B. He's so chunky that he definitely can't like aim through the scope. But look at that, like he really can't hold it very well. <laughs> Oh no, and he can't hold his helmet on very well. He's losing everything. The helmet doesn't really match the rest of the armor. And then this gray is not to be found anywhere else in the armor. It would make sense if this gray was black or red. Look at that. That is a really epic figure. I'm really looking forward to getting both the other Anubis in this helmet, but then also like the counterpart to go with this one. So I'm loving this yellow design. I think Mega Constructs is spot on with that. It's the Pelican versus Phantom. <laughs> The Pelican destroyed it before it even got out of the bag. How about that? All right, the Banished Phantom. I've seen so much hype about this in the community. All right, let's speed build this. Holy moly, wow. That was honestly quite a journey. I am very impressed with the intuitiveness of this build. That felt very complex, a lot of stages, and a lot of really technical pieces involved. I mean, it's only, yeah, you, you can also see, like even during the speed build, that there are some pieces that fall off quite easily. Other than that, you even got this little rod that goes at the back. That's very cute. This banished phantom is epic. I can't wait to army build these. I'm really impressed with this. We are on six, no, I just counted that one twice. We are on six figures figures and we've got two more to go. Out of the way everybody, let's get the next blind bag. Three, two, one, here we go. There he is. There's my little Jeremiah the Jackal and also a little bit on our Mega Constructs Domain Facebook group, which I just have to thank everybody for. We just hit 1,000 members. If you haven't already, check it out. It is the number one place to go if you want to sh just share your hobby with everybody. There are over a thousand of us building on the Mega Constructs Domain now, building towards an amazing future together. I love this banished red. I've been saying I'm, I'm a broken record with it. 
I absolutely love Banished Red. I genuinely think it's the best cosmetic choice that 343 could have made with the game. And look at that, we've got the example of this brand new Mega Constructs like glassing effect that they do on blue pieces. Every single shield will be a little bit different. None will be the same. It's all cast and melted in this really nice blue way. The Jackal matches perfectly with the green base plate of this Grunt. They're a little team, high five guys. And we've got one more figure left. It's one more banished figure. Let's get it open. And we know what it is. It's the Elite. That would be very awkward if it wasn't the Elite. <laughs> if I just coded them wrong. We've had a couple of these elites recently anyway. Halo Heroes Series 12 gave us a silver elite, and then we also had a cream elite with the Banshee as well. This looks gorgeous. So you can see that the color of the arms changes halfway, and the halfway change marks his skin tone, so you can see that this would just be exposed skin. I guess he has gloves on though, I'm not sure how that works. And we had to have an elite with this series, so I guess it makes sense that we've got another elite ultra. If they had to do any color, I guess a covert obsolete is pretty good. You've swayed my vote, Mega Constructs. This is actually a really sweet deal, a really nice figure. It comes with the carbine, very nice and plain. We literally have not had a different carbine in over 10 years. So we've got eight figures. This is an epic series, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Tune in tomorrow for a comparison between series one and series two, and then join me for my diorama live stream this Sunday evening. I'm so excited about it. This was another video with The Domain, everybody. Let me know in the comments below which your favorite figure from this series is. There are a lot of contenders. It's probably not going to be the grunt, but <laughs> let me know what else you think. I love this banished phantom and this elite and the Anubis. Uh, it's all great. It's all great. So let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you have been able to score this series. See you tomorrow, everybody, and Jeremiah the Jackal is signing off. Rawr.